I was really having a hard time motivating myself to get on the Peloton. And I would try to get on or I would I would get on and then, you know, I just wasn't motivated. And, and I wasn't quite sure why I was motivated. I had already declared that 2022 was my year to put health as my priority. People love the Peloton. They're addicted to it. You know, I'm in these groups and, you know, that there's no reason for me not to want to get on the Peloton. But what I discovered is this. Uh, it was a mindset issue. So I ended up going to dinner or my husband and I ended up going to dinner with another couple. And the, um, the husband was an avid biker and used to bike in races like the Tour de France. And so I was telling him, you know, that I had my Peloton and that, you know, I was working out sporadically and that I was at the bottom of the leaderboard. And what he said allowed me to shift my mindset. He said that biking and cycling is one of those things that takes years to master and to get good at. He said that when you see those cyclists who are in their 20s, who are winning races, they are the anomaly. They have some genetic thing that allows them to win. But typically the best cyclists are in their 40s, 50s and 60s because it takes years to develop in that form of exercise. You know, you might be able to run or swim and train and do well quickly, but don't expect quick results when it comes to cycling. And for me, that just allowed me to shift my mindset. And what I realized is that I was discouraged because I was at the bottom of the leaderboard. And in my mind, I was thinking, well, why am I even going to get on this Peloton? It's not doing anything. I'm not progressing. I'm not getting better. I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard. But when he said that, it really allowed me to shift my mindset. And so my new mindset is I will do what I can because something is better than nothing. And eventually I will see progress. So I'm just removing all of the pressure on myself to, you know, compete on the leaderboard, to get up higher, to, to, you know, for anything, even against myself, because I noticed that my performance this year was worse than my own performance last year. Throwing all of that out of the window, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I want to be healthy. I want to be here for my children and grandchildren and great, great grandchildren if God sees it fit. So I'm doing this for me, for my health, and it doesn't matter. I've started even turning off the leaderboard, just getting on there, enjoying the music, enjoying the ride. So that's one aha that I had around mindset. And mindset is something that I'm really doing a lot of in my coaching group um, this month. So I'll be talking a lot about mindset, but if you have any wins where you had some ahas and you were able to shift your mindset, please share them below. It might just inspire or encourage somebody else. Be encouraged, be inspired, be motivated. Until next time.